Well, hi Aquarius. Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. Hey, it's time for your weekly reading. I am shuffling these angel cards very well. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of the reading will be the center card in the first part of the reading. So we're going to pull an angel card for advice before we get started with our tarot card reading. And we're just about there. I feel like I need to do one more little shuffle for Aquarius here. Let's find out what your advice is. Let's find out for Aquarius. Ooh, way up there. It's card number two, and it says, Go Within. Let me read this card to you. You are a very intuitive person, and there are many wonderful insights that lie awaiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There is no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. To me, that sounds like awesome advice. All right. It's card number two, like I said. So if that number means anything to you, you will know. Okay, here we go. We're, uh, now, if one of these cards fall out, they're very, very slippery. I'm going to put it back in the deck until I'm ready to pull them out. Okay? So let's just light that one. Back in the deck. <clears throat> this is for your tarot reading for Aquarius, please. What do they need to know, universe? What's coming in? What's leaving? Any advice? What's hidden that needs to be revealed? What is it that Aquarius needs to know, please? Okay. Here we go. I'm getting started. For Aquarius. Please, universe, tell us what it is that Aquarius needs to know. What's coming in? What's leaving their lives? Any advice moving forward? For Aquarius, universe. We're Aquarius. Okay. I don't know if I got nine cards. I might have to take out more. Let's see. So I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. The overall energy of this reading is the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Well, we will find out. Yes, I do have enough cards. I have one left over for the second part of the reading. Wow. Aquarius, the overall energy here is the Knight of Cups. Now, this reading will not resonate with everyone. You can take from it what does resonate. You might think about getting a private reading. I do private readings. If you just shoot me an email, my email is in the description box right below the video. So that's how you get started. It's really easy. So the Knight of Cups, this is a sincere love offer coming in. Very sincere. Wow. And this is surrounding your entire reading. Now let's see why. We're going to find out why we had the Seven of Pentacles up in your highest energy. You've been waiting for a grounded, committed, solid, secure com relationship. And it's like you've waited and waited with the Seven of Pentacles. Time is ticking by. Um, that bush there that this woman is waiting to pick fruit, put it in the basket. Well, it's not bearing fruit. So she just stands there and stands there and stands there. It blossoms, but it never bears fruit. So these are the two strongest energies in the whole reading. So you could be waiting for someone to come back with a sincere love offer that involves a commitment. Or you could be just waiting for someone to come into your life that is committable and grounded and can commit. I have the Five of Pentacles next to so the Seven of Pentacles. You have been um, spending a lot of time alone. You feel kind of, this is a feeling of being rejected or left alone, uh, kind of like left out in the cold. 
And if you notice this person's barefoot out in the snow, so it's 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 not a good feeling. In this deck, this person is holding a cell phone. And it's either waiting for the right person to call or thinking about calling someone or in the process of communicating about the relationship. But I think that you're waiting, I, I think you're waiting for the right offer to come in. Um, I do have the lovers right next to the five of pentacles. This is the card for Gemini. So Gemini might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. This is a very, very strong soulmate connection. You know, you might be online. Um, you might be getting messages wondering uh, where your soulmate is. And I think your soulmate's going to come through on the phone. I think that's how you're going to meet your soulmate. This is powerful, this connection. Very strong soulmate connection with the lovers. Wow. I have the Queen of Cups under the Seven of Pentacles and next to the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups, water, uh, mature-minded. Kings and queens are so mature-minded. Male or female again, Queen of Cups. Look, this is your energy and you're holding on to that cup. That cup is full of answers to love questions. And that's what you're doing. You have questions about, is, is there anybody out there who's going to love me for who I am? Is there anybody who's committable and can step up to the plate in a relationship? Whatever your questions are, the answers lie in that cup. So this is where your mind is. You're trying to figure things out on you know how to find that special soulmate. They're out there and they're coming in. I got the Knight of Cups. So next to the Knight of Cups, I have the Justice card. The card for Libra. Libra might be strong in your chart or someone else is around this reading. But this is you being balanced. You're, you're, you're getting rebalanced with the scales here. And the sword is hanging right down in front of you for self-protection. You're trying to maintain that balance in your life. At the same time, you do want someone to come in. You want that special someone to come in. So, um, yeah, you've, you've been through... Uh, some tribulations, but um, you become balanced again. And I think you're ready for this offer to come in. You're going to stay balanced. I don't think this person coming in is going to throw you off balance, though. I have the King of Cups under the Queen of Cups. I think this person is a really super strong soulmate connection, and I think they, they have a lot of love. They, you know, they're offering a couple of, which is sincere, like, can I have your phone number, or let's meet someplace, because I think you're going to meet on the phone. Well, let's meet, you know, um, King of Cups. They have a huge cup of love that they can offer. They hold it close. They don't offer it to everybody, which is great. And so... Between you and them, this is the connection. A lot of love. You wondering where they are and them wondering if they're ever going to be able to hand out their cup of love too. So um, love, love, love. That's what I see in this relationship. I have the tower next to the king of cups and under the knight of cups. Well, this is the other person's energy. They've been through a breakup. That's probably why that they're holding that cup so close. Um, they've had a tower moment of some sort and it has, has to do with love. <clears throat> so this is, I don't think, too far behind them. I really feel like we're talking about them at the moment. I have the Nine of Swords next to the Tower card and under the Justice card. They've become rebalanced too. They've got, they're getting themselves ready, prepared uh, to um, pursue another relationship. They were in the Nine of Swords. That's being really in your head about something. But they let all those Swords of Truth and Clarity come to them over and over and over um, until they were ready to move forward. And it is about the Tower moment. Like, what could they have done differently? Or why didn't they see it coming? Whatever it might be, those Swords, um, are, can, they can be torturous, but they've become balanced from them. They're getting past them. Let's take out the rest of the cards we need for this reading here for Aquarius. Woo, please. For Aquarius. What else is it that they need to know? Ooh. 
One almost came out. I don't know what it was. Let's see. I think I got the right amount. Okay. You know, it's very rare in a general reading I see the other person's energy so much, but I really do in this one. So, um, in your highest energy line up here, I have the judgment card. You have been going through a spiritual lesson. Yeah. So, but you're waking up to it. Look at, look at all those people. They hear the horn now. Your guardian angels and spirit guides have been teaching you a spiritual lesson, and you're getting it. This is what's allowing this new relationship to come in. You're always rewarded. When you learn a spiritual lesson, it allows you to take another step forward. I have the Two of Pentacles. This is part of your lesson. Um, yeah, if you're feeling out of balance in a relationship, you're feeling like there's, uh, you know, some days it's going to go places, other days it's not, and it keeps going on that way like it did with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, that's something you really need to pay attention to. Um, you need, and you did, and this is why you're being rewarded. Um, you're putting the end to the old and the beginning of the new with the death card right next to the two of pentacles. So the end of all that and the beginning of the new. This is the card for Scorpio. Scorpio might be strong in your chart or in someone else's chart around this reading. It's like ringing out the old year, ringing in the new year. I have the Hermit. The Hermit's right under the Judgment card next to the Justice card. The Hermit is the card for Virgo. Virgo might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But this is seeking your path forward. This is under the Judgment. And um, so the Hermit shining the lantern. Very spiritual card. Um, it's, it's spending in your times alone. You're kind of like trying to figure out your path forward. And you're getting it. And I think your path forward has to do with your phone, seriously. And um, they're shining the lantern and they're trying to light the path for you in order to move forward. For one thing, they're saying you learned your spiritual lesson. Now you're ready to move forward. You become balanced. You're ready for a new relationship to come in. The Two of Wands is next to the Hermit and under the Two of Pentacles. Much better than the Two of Pentacles. You're now holding on to that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And you have the whole world out in front of you. That tells me again, I really feel like this is an internet connection for most of you. Hmm. And so you're just waiting. You're wondering and waiting. What, what are they going to, what are they going to be like? You know, um, when will they come in? Will they love you? Are they really going to love you this time? <laughs> yes, they will. I got the king and queen of cups. I have the Five of Cups next to the Two of Wands and under the Death card. You've been very disappointed in love, but these two cups are cups of hope. I call this the card of hope. So this is why you're leaving the old behind and moving forward. That past relationship really disappointed you. Now, I have the Page of Cups next to the Nine of Swords. You know, I think this is their energy. You know, I really think that they have overcome... They were in a relationship where the other person, um, I don't think they loved them like uh, as much as um, they loved them. So I think they had a fish in a cup, the, the person that they were attached to. They might have had Pisces in their chart someplace or somebody in, around this reading might have Pisces in their, cup, in their chart. But what this tells me, they only had a half a cup of love and they weren't even really sharing that. Very immature energy. So, you know, it's like, why didn't they see that? You know, ended up where their heart got involved, their heart got hurt, they had to move forward from this energy of this past relationship. And that's what they did. They turned their back on it. But this is under the Two of Wands already. You know, it, they're like a moth following the flame. The moon is shining the lantern, they're shining the light on their path forward. They've got that twice because this hermit is connected to that Page of Cups. And then that Two of Wands is connected to the Eight of Cups. So they're, they're, they're reaching out. They're, they're moving forward from a failed love relationship. I have the Strength card 
under the Five of Cups and next to the Eight of Cups. Uh, it wasn't easy for them to get over this, but they are. They found the strength, they found the courage, and they know what they need to do, and that is get out there. And um, this is the card for Leo. Leo might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. So, you know, this is the first reading I've done. I really feel like this is an internet connection of some sort through the telephone or, or through an electronic device. And um, I think that's how you're going to meet. And they're going to come forward and they're going to want to meet you. And it's sincere, okay? If this should happen um, the way it says, if this is your reading, this is a sincere love offer. And they do have a lot to offer you. So, wow. Aquarius, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels and my spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.